I'd like to give you an example of how we can take apart a risk story in the news. A little while ago, it was reported that people who ate a bacon sandwich every day, here's, here's a, not a very good picture of a bacon sandwich, people who ate a bacon sandwich every day had a 20% increased risk of getting bowel cancer during their life. Now, bowel cancer is a pretty horrible thing, and so a 20% increased risk sounds very serious. Now, Let's think about, you know, what does that mean, though? You know, is this something we should be worried about? Okay, so one of the things we need to do in order to work out whether we should be worried about this or not is to know what the actual risk of getting bowel cancer is if we don't eat bacon sandwiches. And it turns out that about 1 in 18, that's about 5% about of us, are going to get bowel cancer at some time in our lives. It's very, very sad, but it happens. So it's about 5%. About now this all starts getting complicated because we've got five percent of people getting bowel cancer, we've got a 20 percent increased risk from eating bacon sandwiches, we've got percentages of percentages. This gets really tricky to think about and I get, can get very confused very quickly indeed. So the, the trick that people use to think about these things is to try to get, actually get away from percentages, get away and not use decimals or anything like that, but just think in terms of whole numbers, what's called natural frequencies. And actually think of what would happen to a hundred people. So here's my hundred people. These 100 people who are, you know, are just sort of normal, healthy people. And it turns out, though, you know, using the statistics that we found out, that 5% of them, that's 5 of them out of the 100, are going to get bowel cancer, sadly, at some point in their lives, even if they don't eat bacon sandwiches. So let's say, so it could be that one. We don't know which 5 it's going to be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. It's, it's sad they will get bowel cancer at some point in their lives. We don't know who they're going to be, but five out of 100. Now, what happens if all these 100 people had eaten a bacon sandwich every day for their whole lives? Okay, so what the story in the news said is that the risk of getting bowel cancer is increased by 20%. That's a one-fifth extra risk. That means instead of five people, the risk goes up by a fifth, which it means that an extra person will get bowel cancer. So here we got this one now, whoa, is going to get bowel cancer because they all ate bacon sandwiches. So the effect, if 100 people ate a bacon sandwich every day for their life, is that one extra will get bowel cancer. Now, that's very sad, very unfortunate. However, now you might say, well, this doesn't look quite so bad after all. You know, everybody eating all this big greasy bacon sandwich every day and you were just getting one extra. So out of 100 people, only one is getting the consequences. Now, of course, they may get fat and all sorts of other stuff as well, but actually for getting bowel cancer, only one in 100 of the people eating the bacon sandwiches is going to suffer because of um, eating, eating the bacon sandwich. So. By doing it in this way, we've done a 20% increase of a 5% what's called an absolute risk. So, okay, here's some words, some technical words. We call a 20% increase a relative risk because it's relative to what the risk was before. And the risk before was 5%, and that's known as an absolute risk because it's the actual proportion of the whole group of people. Now, it's, you know, those are some technical words, but quite useful, and they're really important to distinguish. The fact that the relative risk is 20% sounds quite big, but when the absolute risk is quite low, it turns out that actually we might not be too worried. So, um, what it means is that I haven't given up eating bacon sandwiches. I only have about, I have about one a week, probably, so I don't eat one a day. But, you know, this is not going to have a big effect on my life. But, Maybe you feel differently.